Hi everyone, welcome back to Ellie Pops We Spoke YouTube channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. So today we're going to be doing these Platinum Jubilee hair bows to celebrate the Queen's 70th year on the throne. Now today is actually the day that she ascended to the throne. Um, so I thought I'd make this video. So here we have some fabrics. I have a platinum silver coloured fabric, which um, I'm going to use for these, and also a purple glitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my middle template and draw as many of those as I can fit on this fabric at once. This one is actually five. That's how many I can usually get out of um, an A4 sheet. And on the purple glitter, I'm going to use the top and the bottom parts of the templates. Um, as I have five middle parts, I also need five of each of these. So just pop them on the fabric and I'm going to do five of each shape. Now this black fabric, you can't use a normal pen on because you can't see it. So I've been using this gem picker, which is made from wax, but you can also get them as a chalk pencil or you can use Taylor's chalk or anything like that. So once you've drawn around all of your templates, uh, we need to cut them out. So we're just going to get all these together. As I say, there's five of each uh, and we're just going to cut them all out. So now all the templates have been cut out. We've got five of each ready there. Um, as you can see, this one's got a little bit of a mark in it, which was a fault in the fabric. But I've cut it out in a place where you won't see it because one of the purple glitter pieces will be on top of it. So I can hide that quite well. So there's five of each of these that have been cut out. And now what we need to do is um, glue them all into their shapes. So now they've all been glued into their shapes, I'm now going to put all the parts together. I'm going to start with um, a bottom tail and we're going to glue on one of these silver platinum middles. Now sometimes this fabric can be hard to stick because it's so shiny, but I'll show you how we get that to sort of stick without having to use any super glue or anything like that later on. So we're just going to put the pieces together and make a stack of the three layers and just make sure it's all the right shape and all stuck together and I'll come back when I've done the rest of them.
So now they're all stuck together, I'm going to take some 65mm alligator clips. Just double checking they're all okay, none of them have got bends in them, and that the spring works okay on them. So I'm just going to put some glue along the uh, clip and then just stick it to the back of the bow. And I'm going to do that with all five of them. So next up, I'm going to take a piece of scrap fabric from cutting out the purple layers and cut it into a strip, which is roughly a centimetre wide. You can measure that out or you can do it by sight. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be covered um, by a logo in a minute. But try and do it as neat as you can anyway. Always take pride in your work and be as neat as you possibly can. So here's a little tip I wanted to give you to make sure that the fabric that sometimes doesn't stick very well stays um, stuck on the bow. So you need to lift the clip and put some glue on it and put the middle inside the clip. And then you wrap it around, trim off the excess if you haven't cut it to size. And then you lift the clip again, glue um, the strip. Not too much glue because you don't want it to seep out and go everywhere uh, but make sure you lift the clip and put it underneath and that secures all of those layers on there together so that that shiny layer doesn't slip even if it does come unstuck so what i'm doing now is i've printed out these um 25 millimeter round images these are the logo for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Now what I do with these is I get some of the epoxy domes, 25 millimetres, the same size as the logo. And I just peel one off there, making sure not to touch it, don't want fingerprints or anything. And we just stick it to the logo. Now that gives it a finish, which makes it look 3D. It also makes it waterproof, scratch proof, just protects the image and gives it a cleaner finish. So I'm going to put a dome on each one of these and then I'll come back. I don't know if you can see there, but these are the finished domes. I will show you a close up later on. Um, they look very professional and what we're going to do is just glue them to the centre of the bows. Now the bows don't really look anything without these. As soon as these are added, they look professional and you know exactly what they are for. Now, as I've previously mentioned, is the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which is 70 years on the throne. And I'm hoping there's going to be lots of street parties and celebrations as we are having an extra two days bank holiday here in the UK for this event. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do three of these at the minute because I need to do a TikTok video um, for the other two. So I'm just going to leave them off for now and just going to do these three. So here we are, here's the finished bow. As you can see, you can see the logo there quite close up and it's nice and, and fresh and the bow sparkles um, and that logo in the centre matches the colours that we've picked out perfectly. So yeah, if you're not already, join my Facebook group. I've also got TikTok. These will be in my Etsy shop as soon as this is uploaded. I hope to see you on the next videos like say subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching bye